All right, I have a quick video for you today. It's a product I've been testing for quite some time now, and I thought it's time I shared it with you. This is the Fire Maple Alti 900 milliliter titanium pot. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I do want to thank Fire Maple for sending out this pot, the Alti 900 milliliter titanium pot, so that I could share it with you. Now, I'm going to be putting all the physical description and everything else in the video description, just to shorten this video up a little bit, but I just want to talk about its key features. So what I'll do is just bring the camera in so you can get a closer look at this. That's the best way I can show you some of its key features, and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so what makes this pot so special anyway? Well, let's start with, let's just talk about the volume. I know that 750 milliliter pots, three cups of water, are very popular. And I guess for most of the applications they're used for, they're just fine. Three cups of water. Now, you have to be aware that that means right to the top, right to the very top. So if you're actually looking for three cups of water or boil three cups of water, then you really should have something a little bit larger, like this one. We'll talk about that in a second. Two cups of water, which is what most dehydrated meals or freeze-dried meals use. Yeah, okay, so they work for that. But if you want to do anything more than cook a dehydrated meal or make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, you really should have a pot of a larger size. In fact, it's always best if you can afford the weight and the bulk to have a pot of a larger size. It just gives you some options you wouldn't have with the smaller one. So that's where this one comes in, 900 milliliters. And uh, it's that, that also is right to the very top. I should show you that inside. I think you'll be able to see it yeah. inside here. Measurements, metric and imperial. So it would be 900 to just below the lip. Uh, actually, it's probably a quarter inch or so below the lip. So could you, you oil 900 milliliters of water in this? You could, but uh, it'd be kind of close. 800? No problem. That's a full inch below the top of the pot. So that's one feature I really like about it. I tend to gravitate towards slightly larger pots. I just, I like the versatility they provide. So what else does this pot have going for it? Well, it has a bale, obviously, bale intended for hanging over a fire, which you see on a fair amount of. The bale is removable. It will stand up on its own. So if you don't like bales, you can toss the bale. The bale acts to lock the lid in when it is pushed forward like that. It just, you, well, you can see, it, you can hold on to the lid D-ring uh, when it's down. Now up, it's easy to get on and off. And that's designed intentionally that way. Speaking of the lid, it is recessed a little bit. Unlikely I'd do any baking in this, but you could. I mean, it is large enough. You could probably bake a muffin or something small inside of it. The D-ring stands up freely, so I don't have to go digging for it with a stick or point of a knife or anything else to get it off. So that's another nice feature for it. It has a, what they call an easy pour spout. Now, it's a spout, okay? But it's nice thing about a spot, uh, spout on a pot like this is exactly that. It makes it easy to pour. So as you're pouring forward, you're not losing water all over the sides. That is one downside of most pots, like a 750 milliliter pot, is that when you pour from the side, it comes out in a larger, wider stream. This gives you precision. Now, maybe that's not a big deal to you, and maybe it's not at all for most people, but if you're making pour-over coffees, AeroPress, any number of things that you want to control the stream of water, a little spout like that is a handy thing to have on a pot. And it is spot welded on, it's not formed into the pot, and it also has a strainer. Let's see if I can get that inside there, the other way, Mark. So you can see the strainers. Now, the strainer's not really fine. Uh, large grounds of coffee, if that's what you're going to do, cowboy coffee or camp coffee inside of here, certainly tea. You could strain your noodles, your pasta, whatever else you're cooking in this, out through the spout without even having to lift the lid off. So that would be an easy way to do it. And obviously, butterfly handles. Generous, not overly big, but you can see my fingers stay well away from the pot. They are on there firm enough that they don't rattle around when you use them like that. And yeah, it's just overall a nice pot. Now, I'll, the only other thing I said, I did mention I put all the specifications in the video description, but let me just tell you the weight, 6.6 .6 ounces. That's, that's incredibly light, but still, it's incredibly strong. It's just a nice, go-to, all-round size pot. Lightweight, strong, lots of versatility. That's all you can really ask for in a pot, isn't it? All right, let's wrap this video up. So about the only 
con, if you will, for the Alti Titanium 900 milliliter pot is that it's a little bit expensive. However, having said that, when you look at it and you realize just what's gone into this, the versatility, the extra pieces that had to be put on this, it starts to look a bit more reasonable. Still, it's not for everybody. It's for somebody who has the budget for titanium and is looking for a pot that has all these features in it. So I don't want you to think that everybody has to rush out and get one of these. I really like it. I'm drawn towards it. I don't always feel I need the extra light weight that the titanium provides, but if you are, then this is something worth taking a look at. Okay, as I mentioned when I opened up, I'll put the description and all the specs for this in the video description, as well as the links to where you can take another look at it. If you have any comments or questions regarding this pot, then put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.